everybody. I am Sensei Rulo, and this is Sensei Holly. We run uh, Rulo Holly's Taekwondo, or Rulo Holly's Martial Arts. We have a location in Brattleboro, Vermont, um, and we also have a location in Keene, New Hampshire. So given the circumstances these days, and a lot of the kids are cooped up inside, we thought we'd offer a little free, simple martial arts uh, lesson, teach your kids a few techniques um, that if you want to play and let your kids follow along, it will give them something else to do. And it will kind of introduce them to martial arts and kind of what we do here in Brattleboro and over in our Keene location. So the first thing we're going to do is, like Americans, although we're not supposed to do it right now, so when we meet and greet people or when we see them for the first time, we usually shake hands. So in the Asian culture, we bow. So if you put your feet together and you put your hands by your side and you stay facing forward, you bow at the waist. And that's kind of how we meet and greet people in uh, the martial arts. So the first thing we want to do, kids, is raise your hands like this. Roll your fingers down and put your thumbs here. That's how you make a proper fist. So one more time. This is what we say, close the door and lock it. So that's a proper fist, okay? And the next thing we want to teach you is when your hands are up here like this, this is called defense position. So this means you're getting ready to defend yourself from an incoming attack. So if someone wants to hit you over the head, you're gonna block, okay? You're gonna block and then be able to counterattack. So when our hands are up here, we call this defense position. So the first thing we're gonna teach you is four punches. Four punches, how's that? Everybody knows how to count to four. So we're gonna do them facing you. So we're gonna spread our feet apart we're going to put our hands in the defense position. Now it's important that your feet are apart and your knees are a little bent. So your legs are like roots of a tree. So if a tree's roots don't grow out and spread, the tree falls down when the wind blows or if somebody leans on it. So you got to make sure your roots are spread out so you're in a good solid stance so the wind can't blow you over or someone can't push you over. And we're going to put your hands up. You can start with your front hand or your back hand. Okay, from the defense position, and you're gonna go one, so there you go, two, three, four. Now I didn't do this. Okay, we went straight in, straight back, because the, the quickest way to get from A to B is straight, not around. Okay, and we wanna make our punches quick. So ready, one, two, three, four. Great. One more time, a little faster. One, two, three, four. Nuts. Now we're going to do it again. When I say one, you're going to do punch one, and then when I say two, and we're going to do it a little faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now don't get crazy. Don't be swinging really wild. Again, one, two, three, four. Make sure your feet are spread out and your hands are up in defense position and your eyes are straight forward and you're focused. Ready? One, two, three, four. And one more time. One, two, three, four. Great. Now parents, if you want to get a pillow, you can hold up a pillow, a bed pillow, and they can face you and they can hit the pillow. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. So they can hit the pillow. Try not to let them swing wild. It's all about control, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is two elbows. So when you hit with your elbows, you hit with this part of your elbow right here. Not up here, okay? So you're gonna take both hands and you're gonna put them up here by your shoulders, not under like a duck. Way up here by your shoulders, okay? And then you're gonna swing around with one and then two and then your hands go back in defense. Okay, let's do it again. Hands up, one, two. Notice my feet are still spread apart. My hands are in defense. Ready, up here, one, two. Good, and two more times. Ready, hands up, one, two, and back to defense position, feet are spread apart. And now hands way up here by your shoulders, one, Two, so it's important that our hands are up here by our shoulder because 
that gives your whole arm behind it. If you're like this, you don't have any force behind here, okay? So when your elbow hits here, you've got this whole arm behind it. So it's a nice solid technique. Okay, now you can also do your punches, uh, your elbows with the pillow. Okay, we can do one and two. Good, and one more time. One and two. Good, one more. One and two. Very good. So elbows are really good for striking. Now, next thing we're going to do, hands are up, feet are spread apart, so you're in a good, solid stance. Remember, good fists, okay? Is we're going to do a knee, okay? So what you want to do is you want to reach up like you're grabbing someone by the head, and you're going to do a knee, set it down, and the other knee, and then go back to your, to your feet spread apart and your hands up. So grab behind the head, one, and two. Nice job, everybody. One more time, grab behind the head. One and two, great. Let's do it again. Grab behind the head. One and two. Nice. Now, if you wanna do that on the pillow, just kinda of put the pillow down, hold it down like this, and they can grab the pillow one and two, or they can just put their hands on top of the pillow. One and two, one more time, one and two, nice job. Okay, so that was two knees. The last thing we're gonna do, and then we're gonna put all of those together. Our feet are apart, our hands are up, we're gonna do a front snap kick. Say front snap kick at home, good. So your back leg comes up, you kick out and back. Then you put it down, okay? You don't kick like this with your straight leg. You come up, out, back, set it down. Now you're gonna hit with the top of your foot. So when we hit with the pillow, you're gonna point your toes and hit with the top of your foot. So let's try it, here we go. Ready, knee up, kick out, back, put it down, good. Switch feet, other leg up, out and back, set it down, switch feet. That was your two, let's try it again. Ready, up, out and back, set it down, switch. Up, out and back, set it down, and switch. Again, up and out, set it down, switch. Went a little faster that time, up and out, set it down, switch. Now, if you wanna do it on the pillow, you come up, kick out and back, good, switch. Up, out and back, awesome. One kick and two kicks, very nice. So now we're gonna put it all together. So your hands are up in a good fist. They're in defense position. Your legs or the roots of that tree are spread out. Ready, we're gonna start with our punches. One punch, two punch, three punch, four punch. Now two elbows, ready? One, two. Now two knees. One, two. And now two kicks. One, two. Nice job, everybody. Let's do it again. Ready, hands up, looking straight ahead and you're focused. Ready? One, two, three, four. Elbow, one, two. Knee, one, two. And now kick, one, two. Nice job. Let's try to go a little faster. Keep focused on us. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four. Elbow, elbow, knee, knee, front kick, and front kick. One more time and then we'll try it on the pillow. Ready? One, two, three, four. Elbow, elbow, knee, knee, 
front kick, front kick, very nice, good job everybody, high five, air high five, nice, okay, now let's try it on the pillow, we'll do it slow at first, ready, one, two, three, four punches, two elbows, one, and two, and then you just tilt the pillow down, one knee, two knees, and then you back up a little for one kick, and two kicks. Good, let's try again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Elbow, elbow, knee, knee, front kick, front kick. Great job. Now, good work. Sometimes in Taekwondo, we do a little couple of other things for fitness. We do a, we do some jumping jacks, we do some push-ups, and we do some crunches. So everybody put your feet together. We're gonna do 10 jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, everybody. Now we're gonna do Let's do five push-ups. So we're gonna turn so you can see. Now, you can do them on your knees. You gotta keep your back straight. Don't push your butt up in, up in the air. You can do them on your toes. And you gotta come down and up. That's one. We can do them on our knees. Two, three, whichever way you wanna do them. Four, five. If you're real little, you wanna start on your belly, Go up to your toes, and then back down to your belly, and up to your toes. You can do them that way too, but I want everyone to do five push-ups, okay? Now, after you're done with your five push-ups, we're gonna do five crunches. So you put your knees up to the ceiling, put your hands behind your head, you try to bring your elbows as close to your knees as you can. That's one, everybody's doing it with me. That's two. That's three, that's four, that's five. Good, everybody get up on your feet. So, that's just a basic, very basic martial arts lesson with some exercises. Now, it's important that you understand a couple things. People that learn martial arts are extra kind, extra caring, extra safe. So if you're gonna practice martial arts with our videos, you have to make sure you're extra kind, extra caring, extra safe, okay? So these things that you learned today, they cannot be used on your siblings, your parents, your pets, and yes, that includes your goldfish and turtles. They cannot be used on the wall you can't get angry and punch something because that's not what martial arts teaches us. Martial arts teaches us to be in control of ourselves. If you're angry, you step back, you count to 10, you take a deep breath, and then you tell that person that you're angry with what you're angry about. Um, so it's really important. You cannot be a good martial artist or karate person if you harm other people or other things. And our animals, you can't harm our animals. So that's really, really important. So I wanna thank you for doing the video with us. After all this craziness is over, if you'd like to join us, there'll be an email somewhere, top or bottom of the screen, that uh, you can email us at, and we'll let you know all about our classes. Um, in the meantime, share this with other family members that have young kids, Parents, you can do it too. We have plenty of adult students. But it's something to keep your kids busy if you need a good 10 or 15 minutes and let them get burn off some energy. And it gives them a good taste of what martial arts is, is all about. So we're going to end class by putting our feet together, standing up tall, straight, tall, and proud. Put that chin up. Be proud of yourselves. And now bow. Awesome job. Thank you very much for joining us.